first Beta Alpha Psi meeting, I showed up in a pair of um, purple pants, a Julian Colors shirt that was multiple blues and purples and reds, and uh, one of those cloth ties that were kind of flat and they were kind of knitted. And I showed up and I had a blue blazer. And uh, my grades were pretty good. And so Sock Bomb and Siri said, Bob, are you trying not to get a job? I wouldn't have made it through there if the faculty weren't involved with me. Uh, from helping me walk the walk, play the part, dress the part, um, but they were as interested in, in me as I was as interested in getting as much value out of it. If you look back, I have worked for four companies in 30 years. I've probably had countless jobs within each of those companies, and I started out in public accounting, and I kind of looked at that as the first inning where it was a really fast way to understand management and how companies operate. Giving back to me is important, and I think that uh, UNCC gave me a lot, and I have no problem giving back, and I've been trying to give back ever since. I was on the accounting advisory board, and then I got onto the alumni board, the advisory for Belt College of Business. I've been on that for a number of years, as well as the, uh, the uh, foundation. We decided to leave a scholarship for accounting students, which is what I got. That would be the Robert and Katie M. Q-Tub, uh, standing next to the Frank and Sarah Rayburn scholarships out there. But these are important, and also for the broader business school. Giving back to the Veterans Association is something that's important to me. I'm good friends. I've stayed active since I left in Veterans Associations. The two most defining things in my life, aside from my family, was the decision to join the Marine Corps, and it gave me the focus and discipline to put my mind to doing about anything I want to. The second thing I'm most proud of is my decision to go to UNC Charlotte and that facilitated. It put those two things together. It gave me, took my determination, it gave me education, and it set me out into the world today. Along the way, there's been a lot of failures, and I think my greatest strides have been learning from those failures and being able to break through it. Maybe that's the Marine Corps training in me and grit and determination. Um, but never giving up and never saying die. I think that's been something that I've just been proud of being able to always figure it out. And I think that's important. Just having that grit has been something that I think has helped me through my career. I live in Bermuda. It's not bad, actually. The water is very blue and the houses are brightly colored and it's pretty warm most of the year. I've been active pretty much all my life. The Marine Corps kind of set my course. You know, it's funny, I look back and i a motorcycle rider, in fact I rode my motorcycle to UNC Charlotte, you know, every day. Part of the criteria when Katie married me was she had to jump out of an airplane, get scuba dive, scuba qualified, and she didn't know she had to go for a wheelie on my motorcycle. She did. Uh, we love raising our boys, who are very active, uh, eight and five, and a lot of fun. Being given the Distinguished Alumni Award for UNC Charlotte is just a tremendous honor to be recognized in, in a public way like this. And I am very grateful for the award, and all I can really say is thank you very much.